Hi Alice. Glad you found it okay. Great to see you. Nice to see you too. So welcome to our home. This is the Union. How have you found your first couple of months? It's been great. Everyone's been very welcoming. It's been nice to get to know you and to get to know other uh, students and academics. What are your first feelings about Imperial? You know, it's a very energetic place. Uh, everyone's very passionate about what they do. They seem to love their jobs. And, uh, and it's been really exciting to get to share in that uh, energy and enthusiasm for what's going on here. And how did you come to be president of Imperial College? I was a professor of chemical engineering at Stanford. Uh, I love my research, my teaching, and my students. And uh, I got involved in a, lot, a number of things that were helping others uh, to fulfill their uh, goals. And they were more or less volunteer administrative jobs. And somehow that led to becoming vice president of research at uh, MIT mm. and from that uh, president uh, at Lehigh University and now invited to be at Imperial College London. And uh, what does the president of Imperial College London do? The president's really the chief, uh, the chief executive of the college and uh, that's a great responsibility. It's also a great opportunity to talk about Imperial and what's going on here and to um, invite others to be part of it and to invest in it. I'm uh, very much uh, looking forward to doing that. Fantastic. What do you do as president of the union? <laughs> so president of the union is to work with our team of sabbatical officers, officer trustees, to lead the union to make sure that we are doing everything we can to make students' lives at Imperial great. It's really wonderful to have student leaders uh, devoting their full time to the students and to, the, to these things. Um, mm. I think many uh, places, it's something I think uh, American universities could learn from us. What would you say the biggest differences are between Lehigh and here? Well, certainly the campus is quite different. Lehigh has 2,300 acres and oh, wow. uh, is on a mount side of a mountain and old stone buildings and many stairways. But Imperial has the, uh, it's more compact, but has the energy that comes with being more compact. And it provides a lot of camaraderie. And I think the students and the academics uh, feel that they're on a common mission and they interact very well with one another. And I find it to be a very collaborative place. Fantastic. On the subject of um, Lehigh, do you think there's any great American traditions that we'd, we could do with over here? There are great American college traditions. Um, a lot of them center around uh, athletics and sport. I think that those kinds of uh, spirit events do draw the community together and give them uh, some common camaraderie beyond yeah. the classroom. Absolutely. So in March, we have our med medical school play uh, main university and we get an opportunity to have a little bit of that camaraderie in a healthy amount of competition. I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you'll teach me the rules of rugby. I will. <laughs> and what's your favourite experience in London been so far? Have you been exploring the city? Been exploring it quite a bit. It's a wonderful city to walk around and I've enjoyed that quite a bit. We had an evening at uh, the Globe Theatre which is a really amazing place and uh, we saw a comedy of errors and it was really great the way the actors engaged the audience and it was really very special. We had an opportunity yesterday in council to talk about the vision for Imperial College and we're looking forward, at first we're looking five years, but actually we're thinking 20, 25 years ahead. Where do you think we should be and where do you think we should aim? I think that Imperial College is so well positioned uh, as the world is changing because we're already a global institution. Mm. We attract students and academics from all over the world. Uh, we uh, collaborate uh, amongst ourselves and, and with uh, partners all over the world. And I think that in the future, you'll see universities with, uh, with uh, more diffuse boundaries like that. And they'll be trying to emulate what we're doing at Imperial. And I think that we'll be able to forge ahead. Uh, making opportunities for uh, students and academics to be creative, to be entrepreneurial, uh, to work across disciplines, to collaborate with one another. And, uh, and I think that, uh, I hope we'll both be looking back 20 years from now and uh, thinking about all the great things that uh, we were able to do in our tenure.